Everyone lives within a watershed. Watershed protection is a means of protecting a lake, river, or stream by managing the entire watershed that drains into it. Clean, healthy watersheds depend on an informed public to make the right decision when it comes to our natural resources and actions made by the community. Do you know which watershed you live in? A watershed is the area of land that drains to a given body of water, such as a stream, river, or lake. The Squaw Creek Watershed consists of 146,000 acres extending from Ames northwesterly through the Boone, Story, and slightly into Hamilton and Webster counties, just beyond the cities of Stratford and Stanhope. The Squaw Creek becomes part of the Skunk River, which flows into the Mississippi River that ultimately flows into the Gulf of Mexico. In response to the water quality concerns statewide and downstream, Iowa has written a science and technology-based framework called the Iowa Nutrient Reduction Strategy to assess and reduce nutrients in Iowa waters and beyond. There are various organizations and agencies across the state working in their local watersheds to address the nutrient concerns. The work being done in the Squaw Creek watershed is an example of that. Prairie Rivers of Iowa, a nonprofit organization located in Ames, Iowa, along with the communities, counties, and soil and water conservation districts, formed an alliance group called the Squaw Creek Watershed Management Authority. This group worked on and hired a firm to write a management plan for Squaw Creek Watershed, which was established in 2014 to assess the current conditions, as well as guide the work to be done in the following years. The management plan has six major goals in mind, which are to increase the public's knowledge and understanding of their connections within the watershed, creating an informed community and empowering residents such as yourself to become stewards of the watershed is the foundation to its success. If members of our watershed are not knowledgeable about existing issues, they do not have the tools to help improve our watershed. The second goal of the plan is to improve water quality in the watershed. Progress towards this goal will be measured based on the observed conditions of our monitoring data collected from various locations within the watershed. The statewide goal is to achieve a 29% reduction in total phosphorus and a 41% reduction of total nitrogen. The third goal of the Squaw Creek Management Plan is to reduce the effects of the altered landscape that affects the flow of water to streams and rivers with the goal of restoring a more natural flow. Restoring a more natural flow will restore floodplains and offer a healthier habitat for animals and plants as well as healthier water. The fourth goal of the management plan is to increase the variety of habitats for animals and plant life. Ecological diversity is extremely important as it provides several functions and services that are important to both wildlife and plant species as well as humans. The fifth goal in the plan is to create outstanding recreational opportunities. Many of the current uses within the watershed consist of canoeing, kayaking, wading, and fishing are limited due to a variety of environmental factors. The goal is to expand the current recreational activities and improve the character of the stream to allow greater use. The final goal in the Squaw Creek Management Plan is to work together with farmers and landowners to identify resources to implement this plan. Building partnerships and cooperating with existing groups and initiatives are key to successful implementation of the watershed plan. The work in the watershed is about seeing our natural resources improve and be sustained, as well as improving the mindset of citizens and landowners in Iowa communities. In the past couple of years, organizations in the Squaw Creek watershed have worked together to build partnerships and collaborate to address these goals together. The Watersheds and Waterways program at Prairie Rivers of Iowa offers technical and financial assistance to farmers for conservation practices such as cover crops, no-till and strip-till, buffers, bioreactors, saturated buffers, and incorporation of perennials in the landscape. You can visit cleanwateriowa.org for more information on these practices.
The cost share program is available for farmers at Prairie Rivers of Iowa thanks to a water quality initiative grant from the Iowa Department of Agriculture and Land Stewardship. Through this program, there has been an increase of conservation practices implemented in the watershed, as well as an increased awareness of water quality and soil health in our communities. In the following years, Prairie Rivers of Iowa, along with its partners, will continue to work with farmers and landowners to implement conservation practices. They will work to strengthen the awareness of watersheds and the water quality projects in the local community. Work is also being done to expand the scope of watersheds that local partners are working in. Everyone lives within a watershed. Are you doing your part to keep yours clean and healthy?